Apple is one of the world's most well-known and lucrative technological businesses. They are renowned for cutting-edge goods and wooing designs. Millions of iPhones are sold annually, making it a major success for Apple. While Samsung is one of Apple's main competitors in the smartphone business, many people are unaware that Apple employs Samsung components in its iPhones. In this video, we will get into detail on why Apple uses Samsung parts on iPhone. First things first, Samsung is a market leader in producing vital parts like CPUs, memory chips, or DRAM, and AMOLED screens. As a result, they have continuously provided Apple with the premium components needed for their products. Apple depends on vendors like Samsung to uphold its strict requirements for the parts used in their devices. Apple has continued to employ Samsung components since they are frequently at the cutting edge of technology and have been acclaimed for their dependability and longevity. The cost reductions Apple realized due to the partnership between Apple and Samsung is another significant advantage. Samsung consistently and constantly has been and can provide high quality components at a lesser cost than many other manufacturers because of their large expenditures in R&D and production infrastructure. Apple significantly reduces production costs by utilizing Samsung components, though the latest iPhones are not the cheapest smartphones around. In any case, Apple is able to preserve its profit margins, which is crucial for the company's ongoing viability and expansion. Apple has previously sought to purchase parts from the likes of LG and BOE. That's because LG and BOE are significant producers of display panels, and Apple has previously utilized screens from both businesses for various devices, including iPhones, iPads, and Macs. Fun fact, Apple decided to purchase cellular network modems from the likes of Qualcomm and Intel for their iPhones. Overall, it seems probable that Apple has looked at obtaining parts from LG and BOE. Still, Apple has been less dependent on other vendors in recent years. It is investing in its own display technologies, including continuing to get parts from Samsung, mainly owing to their quality and supply-demand benefits. And lastly, despite their heated rivalry in the smartphone business, Apple and Samsung have occasionally worked together. Specifically, Samsung has long been a significant supplier of parts to Apple, and both companies have benefited from this partnership. Samsung benefits from Apple's experience and production skills, and Apple benefits from Samsung's stability and reliability of their parts. All said and done, Samsung is a top producer of high-quality components that satisfy Apple's requirements. Therefore, it makes sense that Apple employs Samsung components in its iPhones. After all, Apple is Samsung's biggest buyer. Because Samsung can provide Apple with massive amounts of components at reasonable prices thanks to their production skills and economies of scale, the partnership has proven profitable for both businesses. Heck, Samsung even started making their smartphones to compete with the iPhone in 2010, beginning with the Galaxy S featuring an AMOLED screen, a hit among Android users. So despite their rivalry, Apple and Samsung have a strong working relationship demonstrating how effective cooperation can be in the smartphone designing and manufacturing sector.